Hey brothers and sisters. So it's been a little while since I've made a video and I've had a lot of people message me and send emails and comments on my video asking how I'm doing and I um, just want to say I appreciate all your concerns and all your messages. Um, I've been doing fine. The Lord's been working with me on my walk right now and there's a lot of things that he's been leading me to do. Um, I have some things that, um, <laughs> I have some uh, gifts of the spirit that the Lord wants me to be actively working in. And these are things that I have not previously worked in. So he's been spending a lot of time um, preparing me for this and helping me to walk in it. So, um, and some of this is... Um, my deliverance ministry and also seeing in the spirit so I can try to discern and pray for things. So there's been a lot, been, a lot been going on. So, um, I've been trying to block out everything else and just spend time with the Lord and, um, hear what he wants to say and, um, going through these new lessons and teachings and everything that he's been given to me. So it's been really exciting. Um, and I can see the changes that the Lord's doing in me. And I'm pretty excited about it. Like, um, starting to tangibly feel things from the Lord. Starting to tangibly feel the presence of the Holy Spirit in a new way lately. And it's been very exciting. So, um, that's kind of what's been going on and why I haven't made a video for a while. But what I wanted to share tonight was that yesterday I was listening to a video from Athena um, her channel used to be the angel dancer, but she's uh, changed it to the bridge. She actually has two channels. One's called Way in the Wilderness, and or A Way in the Wilderness, and the other one's called the Bridge. But she um, was talking yesterday, and um, well, actually, she had an older video that I was watching yesterday. But in the video, she was talking about the things that the Lord had been showing her. And it was like the Lord kind of opened my understanding a little bit to the time that we're in right now. And I thought it was really interesting. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, many months ago, and actually even a couple years ago, the Lord kept telling me everything that could be shaken would be shaken. And he just continued to keep telling me that regularly. So, and I feel that that's true and especially like in my life right now, because a lot of things are being shaken with some of the stuff that the Lord's having me do and the direction that he's taken me. So there's a lot of, it's like, a, it's coming out of my comfort zone. It's doing things that I didn't do before and um, trusting the Lord to lead me in, in this direction. So there's a lot of shaking going on in my life right now. And, and it's good because I want to get rid of the things that don't belong in there, things that are not of the Lord. And I also want to start to learn to operate in the things that the Lord wants me to operate. So, um, but she also mentioned something that kind of stuck out to me and the Lord began to minister to me to show me that like the harlot church or the harlot that's um, spoken of in the book of Revelation is it's kind of multi um, layered and most of scripture is there'll be more than one thing that will fit that um, scripture that the Lord's talking about so like we look at the harlot and we think about like the harlot church we think of the apostate church and the church that is you know the people that are going and sitting in the pews every single day but that maybe aren't operating in the Lord and are not um working in the uh, like the gifts of the Lord or they're not out there preaching maybe they're just kind of going through the motions going Sunday and then coming home and doing their own thing the rest of the week and the Lord was showing me that right now the church so not only is the church um, considered the harlot it's also the worldly system it's also the system that has people drawn up into serving an idol, serving the worldly system, Satan's system, the things that they can see, smell, touch, taste. So there's a lot of people either going to church that don't truly have a relationship with the Lord, or there are people who are living in the world, don't go to church, and don't have a relationship with the Lord. So the Lord says, there are people in the church, and there are people in the world that belong to me. There are people that have been 
Their names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. They have been chosen or given to the, the Son, and Scripture says that whoever the Father has chosen for the Son, he's not going to lose one. So these people are living a life right now that is an opposition of what the Lord wants for them. So the things that are happening in the world right now are shaking, not only shaking his people that are walking with him and are listening to him and following him, but it's shaking the worldly system. It's shaking the harlot church. And what the Lord keeps saying is, I'm telling Pharaoh to let go of my people just like he did with the Israelites back in the Old Testament when he sent Moses into Egypt to say, the Lord wants his people back. Let go of my people. So all of these things began to happen and, and the plagues came and um, uh, with each time, the children of Israel got a little bit further away, a little bit further away, and eventually Pharaoh completely let go and his people were able to come back to him and worship him. So, that's what the Lord's showing me right now is that the world is being shaken. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. The apostate church is being shaken. The harlot church is being shaken. The uh, worldly system is being shaken. And as it's being shaken, everything that doesn't belong is being shaken out. The people that belong to God are going to be shaken loose from the harlot church, shaken loose from the worldly system. And eventually, they're going to find their way back to him. So when the last person is shaken loose and realizes, I need God. I need to go back to my first love. When the last person realizes that, the last appointed person, I should say, realizes that, then God's going to pour out the wrath. The bowls are going to begin to pour out. So now how long that takes, I don't know. But all the things that are coming upon the earth right now, all the things that are coming upon the people, um, the virus and um, all the things that the enemy is going to be allowed to, to do with the, um, the worldly system, the one world order, um, the one world monetary system, things like that. It's all part of the shaking of Egypt the shaking to let my people go. So I really thought that was interesting because like I said, the Lord keeps saying everything that can be shaken will be shaken. So the shaking is not going to stop. We're all being shaken. As a believer in Christ, the things that are not of him, the things that are not of God are being shaken off of me. Every single day I'm being forced to evaluate my life. I'm being forced to evaluate my walk and to examine myself and to remove the things that are not of God. And I can either remove them as the Lord shows me what they are, or the Lord's going to give me a test and he's going to challenge me 